when you're, I guess when you're preparing for a role like this, I know you got to speak with um, Lyle and Eric, or you spoke with Eric on the phone uh, spoke, before, spoke before with the premiere. Oh, I spoke with both, with both of them. them, yeah. And then you, after the show premiered, you got to actually go visit with Kim in the prison. Yeah. What was that experience like for you after living with this character, now meeting this person? Right? So rewarding and life-changing. I, I knew I'd wanted to meet them for a very long time, and we got to go down for a really uh, amazing uh, meeting event type thing. They were going to present to us this green space project that uh, the two of them have been heading, spearheading for a long time now. And uh, so that was really inspiring. And and um, yeah, it was just amazing to, to just give them a hug and look them in the eyes and tell them I believe them. And I did everything I could to uh, portray him as authentically as possible. So super rewarding and inspiring. Yeah. Did, did it like ever kind of recontextualize the journey that you want, went on playing you know, this person in a show and now did you come away feeling differently after meeting? No, my, in fact, it's sort of uh, continued to um, support my beliefs that I had felt about them the whole time. And, and I went into the show with one perspective and one point of view, which was Eric's truth, the everything that he talks about on the stand and and uh, all the way leading up to, to meeting him, that, that perspective stayed the same. And then when I did ultimately get to meet him, he. He, he's so incredible. He, he teaches speech classes and he teaches meditation and they're super involved in prison reform. And um, even the warden told us that he would feel comfortable with having them as um, his neighbors and that he would let them watch his kids. Which wow, I that's was amazing. Like really, really eye-opening. And, and I hope a lot of people can can take something away from that. Yeah, that's so interesting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. What we love also so much about this show is that it shows all these different sides, you know, the what could have been and mm -hmm. kind of making the audience, the jury in this. What does research kind of look like when you're preparing for something like this? Did you find anything about the justice system that maybe surprised you? Yeah, I mean, the fact that the second trial completely changed. I mean, all of the rulings were changed. Mm -hmm. In the first trial, they had two juries. In the second trial, they had one. No cameras in the second trial, cameras in the first trial. They didn't allow any of the evidence you, yeah, of sexual abuse yeah. to be admissible into the second trial. Exactly. So from our perspective, I mean, they're, uh, yeah, the judge crucified them by putting those restrictions on. Yeah, and he wouldn't, let the, he wouldn't let the defense use imperfect self-defense, which mm -hmm. was their entire story and their truth so um i think that was pretty messed up by the, by the justice system and i didn't know that you know the the justice system had the power to to do something like that right it seems like it's like kind of unholy mm -hmm. so um it's a really sad story and um yeah that was pretty devastating